I'm Dr. Sonia Vance. I'm a Future Leaders Fellow at the University of St Andrews. I think I'm being recognised with this award because of the work we've been doing to establish BATS as the first mammalian model where we can interrogate the genetics and neurobiology of vocal learning and use that to study human speech and language. Bats are pretty special little animals. They have a lot of amazing features that mark them out as being unique. Their ability to learn to communicate with each other through vocalizations. And that's something that not many other animals share with humans. So when we have these small bats that we can keep in a colony, we can look at how they interact with each other, we can study what their brains are doing, and we can really understand the mechanisms underlying vocal learning in a way that we can't do in other mammalian systems. When humans learn to speak, they have to learn the right sounds to make with their vocal apparatus. So they listen to the sounds in their environment and they start trying to copy what they hear. So when a baby is learning to speak, it hears a lot of whatever language it hears when it's young. Often it's hearing mama and papa or things like that. Some animals like bats have some similar processes where they have to listen to the sounds in their environment and start to learn what is the right vocalization I need to make to communicate with the others in my environment. So those kind of parallels then, we can ask questions in bats. How do they do that? What is the learning process? What kind of neural circuitry do they need in order to do that behavior? And what is it in their genomes that means that they have that capacity when other mammals don't? The new labs at the University of St Andrews are really exciting. As far as I'm aware, it's the only place in the world where we're going to have a captive colony of bats and directly adjacent to it, a lab setup where we can study every aspect of the mechanisms of vocal learning. The BAT1K project is a large international consortium of researchers that I started together with my colleague Emma Teeling at UC Dublin. Our goal as a consortium is to sequence the genomes of every living bat species on the planet. We've been able to release really high quality genomes that are now being used for all sorts of different interdisciplinary research. So it's having an impact far beyond my own research field of vocal learning into things like immunology and virology, uh, cancer research and aging. I do think we need to increase the participation of women and underrepresented groups in, in science. One of the most important things is retention. So I'd really like to see more work on retaining talented women so that we don't lose their amazing minds out of science. I think for me, science is about understanding how things work. It inspires me to think about how do we understand the processes behind sometimes things that seem quite easy for us. And if we do that on a big level, we can ask big questions about how the world works.